Hello everyone. In this demo, we are going to extend our earlier example. So, we saw two ways of calling a method. One was directly like you know, I have the same example, I have show method and display method. I can directly call the show method. I can say show Manzoor. Now, another way. I can create the object of the delegate test and I will be passing the parameter as show method. Then I will say t of I will pass the parameter Manzoor. So, we have two ways of calling the same method and the difference is here I am generating the code at compile time whereas it generates the code at runtime. Now, you need to assume or you need to think of a situation. See, if I have a method already defined and if I want to call that method, I can proceed in this way. That means, method definition is already done and I am calling a method, I can proceed in this way. Now, think of a situation where method definition is not done that means i haven't defined the method i do not know the name of the method and i do not know the definition of the method but i know one thing it's return type and parameter that means i knew the signature of the method but its implementation is not done and its name i do not know that means, till now we have seen a situation where method is defined prior to its invocation. That means, we are defining the method first, then we are invoking the method. Now, if we have a situation where I need to invoke the method first, later on I need to define wherever I need it. Now, for example, I have a button. A button is nothing but I have a definition for class button. Now, button has got an event say I click the button. So, click is an event that means on click is a method I have defined inside the class button. Whenever I click the button that method gets invoked and that method in turn will be calling a method which I have not defined yet. So, whenever I have this kind of scenario where I need to invoke a method first then later on in future anybody can define that method then I can go for delegates. Anyway, this concept would be more clear for you once we go for events. Now, let us make it little bit realistic. Now, I will just take my delegate outside the class so that I should make it uh, very simple. I got uh, separate delegate data type or you can say separate delegate test and say I have a class. and we will name it as sample. In this class, say I have a variable for the delegate or I can say reference for the delegate say t1 and a method public void I will name it as call back. Now, why is that I am making it naming it as call back we will see in this video and the parameter that I am going to pass is nothing but your delegate type and name it as t1 and we will go with the same concept this dot 
t1 equals to t1 this dot t1 equals to t1 and I will be invoking the method t1 of Manzoor. Now this is pretty simple uh, class that I have class sample and uh, I have the type delegate I have uh, declared here. Now I am saying that you know its reference is t1. So this is the state of this class. So I have a reference and I am defining a simple class in that I have a simple method. I am defining a simple method that is callback which takes a parameter of type delegate test and it is going to invoke the method. What is the method that it is going to invoke? We do not know. We will see that. Now, I will just remove this and I will also remove this. Here what I have, I have uh, create delegate t. Now, I uh, let me create the object of class sample, sample s equals to new sample and now I will call s dot callback and here I need to pass the object of delegate test that is I will be passing t. Once I pass t, t is referring to show, now t1 will also refer to show and I will be invoking show method. I will just execute it. Let us see it should invoke show method. Fine, it is invoking show method. That is cool. Now, let me tell you why is that I have named it as callback. Now, if I put a breakpoint, why is execute this? See that from this class, I am calling callback method. Now, this callback method in turn calls the method of the same class. So, I am calling back the method of the same class. Execute say F11. Now, it is invoked. Now, it is going to call show method. Now, if I change from show to display F5, it should display the display method. So, uh, this is pretty simple. Now, I have separate class program and separate class sample. So, from class and separate delegate type. So, from this I am calling that method. This in turn calling the method show. That means, I have predefined you know, my this class is predefined and it is calling the method t1 is a method it is calling the method t1 whose return type is void and parameter is string now you see that i am calling a method whose parameter is string type and return type is void that's it its definition it has not defined yet that means, I am invoking the method prior to its definition. This is the reverse way. I am invoking the method prior to its definition. Now, I am defining that. I am defining the method. Now, I am defining the method and then calling it back. Now, there is another one more way of uh, calling back callback method. The way is, see that I am passing delegate type t which is nothing but a pointer to or i can say a reference to display method so instead of me creating a reference to display method and then passing that i can directly pass the method name which in turn will pass its reference that means i do not need to create separate delegate this and this both of them are same fine it is working fine now let me uh, remove this 
hope it looks uh, more uh, simple i have a class i am just passing method name now once i am passing the method name means i am passing its reference it is taken care by the delegate test because the display method is of same signature whatever i have declared for delegate i can pass that i can also say as dot callback show so hope you might have understood uh, delegates this is very simple i am invoking a method whose definition is not defined yet you see that i am not at all invoking method over here that method has got invoked over here now simply i am passing the method name what method name that i want to invoke so single line of code is invoking n number of methods whether it is show method display method or whatever the method of same signature so we will have last and one more realistic example of delegates and how is that useful to us now say this is my ui here i am going to work out on two layered architecture say this is my ui user interface and my business logic layer is in separate class say i have a class i'll just right click and i'll say add new item see that i have selected the project right click add new item and i'm going to add a class i'll name it as calculations i have named it as calculations now in this calculations class i have a little bit of code with me i'll just paste that i have a method add method subtract method and product now add method takes two parameters and it displays the sum subtract method takes the same two parameter displays the different it takes two parameters product method and displays the product i have a simple calculation method now if you observe one thing all these methods they have same signature in the sense same return type and same parameter list now why is that i am keeping all these things same so that i can simulate the use of delegates now here i'll just declare a delegate delegate void test the parameters list should be int a comma int b now this is my delegate i have declared here uh, first of all uh, let me create the object of calculations class calculations c equals to new calculations now if i say c dot then i can access add method product method and subtract method now before that what i'll do i'll just create a delegate object test t equals to new test delegate and here in the constructor i'll pass the sum method c dot sum or add that is add now if i say t of 23 and 45 it is going to add both the numbers and displays the result just execute this so the sum is so and so now i i want to give it to the end user to give some options and all those things so i'll, I'll just uh, implement some choices kind of thing i'll just say console dot write line one for addition two for subtraction three for multiplication and four for division and i'll read the user's input with the help of choice in dot parse console dot read line then simply i'll be writing my switch cases switch case ch in the case is ch in this case i'll say for case 1 if it is case 1 i'll just make t an object of add 
that is nothing but c dot add and break if it is case 2 I'll make T an object of same test and uh, I'll pass the parameter constructor T dot subtract and I'll just say break and if it is case 3 T equals to new test of c dot product and break okay, that is it now I am calling the same method now at run time it is going to make t a reference of any method and it is going to execute it that means I am calling a method for that name I have not decided yet so that I will be deciding at runtime. I will just execute this, it will show me the options, I will just give 2, it should display the difference. So it is working fine. Now I will do one more thing, I will just uh, take this part out from here till here. So this part I will be extracting it into a new method, I will just right click refactor and extract method, I will name it as get choice say ok so I got a method private static now this is going to get me the choice and then it is going to execute get choice will get me what method I want so I am just making it separate now this is working fine see that this is what my UI is and this is what I am calling the method say this is my UI and say this is my business logic layer now tomorrow if I want to add some more functionality that means here I am calling a method which I have not defined yet now I am going to define the method just copy this and this time I will say division test it and the division is I will just say a by b now here I need to add one more case that is case 4 and t equals to new this time I will pass the constructor of division break now if you observe I am not at all touching the ui ui is same just I am working on my business logic layer now here if I give the option as 4 it should display me the division result why because small number divided by big number now if I pass big by small then it should work fine and it should give me some result so hope you might have understood the use and the implementation of delegates so delegates are nothing but pointers to the methods or references to the methods so this is all about your delegates, thank you very much.